Well, if you are looking for an entertaining show this weekend that you can enjoy from the comfort of your very own home, what's better than that? Look no further than Alex Fortin's one-woman production entitled, and I love this, Um. She's here with us today to chat more about it, and I couldn't be happier. Good morning, Alex. Thank you so much. I, this is a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, great to see you. I love this idea. Tell me all about this one-woman show, how it came about. Like I said, I love the title, but what do we need to know about this great production? Okay, well, um, I'm an, an actor, and I am New York-based, and I, like all actors right now, um, am struggling with uh, where is the theater. And so uh, throughout my quarantining and everything, I uh, was starting to get creative, and I decided that I needed to make my own content, and I struggled very much in that. Uh, so I asked everyone, like, what should I do? And I took all of their suggestions and I put together a show that uh, gives it my best go of all of their suggestions. <laughs> I love that. And tell me about the title. Um, it's the perfect vocalized pause. I'm the master of the vocalized pause. I love that. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just wanted to be honest. I, I don't I don't think you don't have to be an actor to enjoy this show. You just have to be living right now. Um, we all don't know and we're all learning how to readjust and and um we're all asking what what do i do and how do i do it and that struggle is really what the show is about that's such a great thing tapping into really the, the zeitgeist if you will of what we're all dealing with at this point in time it sounds so entertaining so you wrote this or put it together with a friend correct Yes, my best friend in the whole world, Molly Vandermullen. Uh, we got to work together. We were on a lot of Zooms and we we pulled it together. It was it was such a great, we would have never had the opportunity to do that if we were just working our normal lives. <laughs> we would have never done this. So I'm grateful yeah. for that. Yeah, definitely making the best out of a situation. Do you find uh, collaborating is something that comes naturally to you guys? I mean, was it easier to write it with someone that's a good friend? I can't do anything without the people in my life and collaborating. Absolutely. Uh, it's a, it's a whole, it's all about the team. Um, actually when I, when I started, when I started doing the show, I, there was a moment where I was getting really in my head, uh, and I was in the theater for the first time and forever. And I was so, so scared and freaked out. And I looked up and I saw my stage manager and my director and my cameraman, and they were all in their masks and they were so in what they were doing that I was like, Oh, that's right. That's what this is about. It's about my team and, and doing things together. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great way to look at it. Now you've already recorded this thing at one of our favorite uh, venues, the Greenwich Odium, correct? Yes. I, and I, where I, can we see it on Saturday? On Mandolin, which is an awesome streaming service, you can buy your ticket in advance and watch the stream at 8 p.m. on Saturday. The whole recording was was taken all at once. We did not do any cuts. Uh, so you just you get live theater as much as you can right now. <laughs> I love that. And it's so nice to see, it will be so nice to see someone physically on a stage doing something that they're really passionate about, which I think is a wonderful thing. And you say that your wish is to bring some laughter and uh, some hope in times of, of uncertainty. I love that. You must be so proud to share your talents. I, I am and grateful for the people that helped me do it. Well, I love to make people laugh as well. I've never succeeded, but I believe you will this actual <laughs> Saturday. So uh, we wish you the best, and it's great to chat with you. And I, like I said, I love the title, Um, and I really think maybe there's a sequel in the works, and I've got a great title. Maybe you can call it Ah. Uh amazing <laughs> sure. sure i have to say i owe you so much because i i haven't worn earrings in over a year and just for this interview i was like i'm gonna put earrings in and i realized they were closed so i was puncturing my ears before i came on here so you saved my my earrings my earring holes thank you well i considered putting my nose ring in for this but i didn't have it nearby but you look great the show looks great we can't thank you enough for your time and we wish you a lot of luck this weekend with it alex thanks for being with us thank you it's a pleasure if you guys out there would like to check out the show we'll have links to mandolin at roadshow.com